When you returned to filmmaking, what changed for you? My perspective changed. My perspective on what I wanted and how I wanted to get there, it really, really, really changed. I didn't now look at it as an opportunity for me to become famous or a star, but rather for me to intrinsically tell really, really great stories. And because my approach changed, so did my attitude. So then I could just enjoy it for what it was. And I could send it to Sundance and if Sundance says, no, I'm like, it's no problem. I still made a great project. You know, where is it supposed to go? And then it gets into this film festival. I'm like, that's where it was supposed to be. So my perspective really changed because it was it no longer became about the money or the fame or any of that. It came purely about my connection with the audience. And if they're if I'm able to successfully get them to see the story that I need them to see, then I was a success. And that's where I see success now. I think I heard you say something. And I love this. You said, the way I wrote this down, you said you just do it straight Dewey. And, and what, what is that? That's great. I, I just do it my way. <laughs> I do it my way. On set, I make sure every, I know everybody's name. Um, when I'm um, out at film festivals, I wait to shake the very last hand. Like, I'm doing everything the way that Dewey does it. And I'm only working with people who are kind of just giving me the space to just do my Dewey thing. You know, which I'm jovial, um, I'm, I'm open, I'm very focused on what I'm doing, yet I have a, a very nuanced perspective on this industry and on, you know, my creative approach. So I'm just doing it the way that I do it and I don't worry about any other creators or how they do their thing or what they have or what they don't have. So just do the Dewey. I just, just do the Dewey. I like it. Yeah. Did, did you did you feel that growing up? It was okay to be you? No, not at all. I grew up in a town where I really felt, I felt so small. I felt so different. It was a town of people who didn't reflect any of the experience that I'd had or had known. And I always felt like I was fighting to be seen. Um, and I was always, not, I, the way that I saw the world wasn't reflective on the environment that I was seeing. So I didn't feel that it was okay for me to be who my most authentic self was. And I think after my first feature film and me moving to New York and just being in this environment of creative people who are just being authentic and like me seeing like, it is okay to be myself. It is okay for me to, to, to love everybody. It's okay for me to look at the world uh, from an international place as opposed to just being a domestic place. It's okay. So when I started to give myself the permission to experience myself in the fullness of who I was, that's when everything really started to change. And I'm like, you know what? This is who I am. This is how I am. This is the kindness that I have to give. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna keep creating and keep, keep it moving. And that's how I world. And how did life change for you? Everything has magnified. So I remember when I moved to New York, I had um, 60 bucks, I had two bags, that's all I had. Um, I had lost my furniture, I had lost my cars, I had, I had lost all of the things that I thought defined who I was. And then I remember just using my universal intuition to be able to see how I was gonna move forward with certain things, whether I should do this play, whether I should do this short film, whether I should work on this music video. And then slowly I started to see all the things that I had lost came right back. I got a bed and I got a, a car and I got a couch and I had this and my appreciation for it was so different while still not being attached to any of it at all. Right, I could lose everything tomorrow and I'll still be Dewey Gerard, right? And I'm still gonna be kind and I'm still gonna create and I'm still gonna have purpose because it's not defined by what I have, it's defined by who I am. And that's how I kind of have lived my life since then.